When I talk about being proud of a city, that comes with the positives and negatives. You know, you can't love this city and not recognize its past and its ties to slavery, which I do. I recognize all of it. But I'm incredibly proud of this city. I love this city. And to see the ripple effects that it's had. I remember coming back home from the protest and my friends in Oakland and Tennessee were messaging me about it. And it, was, it literally had went viral, like around the world, before I had even gotten home. Tens of thousands of people took part in anti-racism protests across Britain today, with the statue of a 17th century slave trader pulled down in Bristol. And so this small city in England that a lot of people didn't even knew existed, to have that type of impact, I think really speaks to the beauty and the power and the influence that Bristol has. There is a lot of diversity here uh, within ethnicity. It's very colorful, there's street art everywhere. There's, there's so many elements to it that's diverse. Um, however, that doesn't mean there isn't a problem here. There were mixed reactions while we were painting. Uh, <laughs> lots of positive support, lots of people taking photos, but you know, a lot of people also, you know, shouting abuse, not being happy, saying that black lives don't matter. Um, and if those people didn't exist, I wouldn't be making this wall, unfortunately. One of the first things that we had on here was I have to walk past a statue that celebrates slavery every day. You know, I, I have to walk past Colston Hall um, and we took it off in the end and then, you know, two days later it got ripped down, which is fantastic. <laughs> I know people who are of West Indian heritage, who live in Bristol, who talk about the genuine emotions that they feel when they walk under the statue of the man who was the governor of the Royal African Company, the company that transported more of their ancestors into slavery than any company in British history. I believe them when they say it hurts them, that they feel humiliated by Colston on his pillar. It made me angry. Do you know what I'm saying? It made me angry. Long time in the coming. And I think that, in all honesty, I think that was the only way it's going to come down. Because it's been in talks for God knows how long. People have been petitioning for this, protesting for this for ages. I know a lot of people, I've heard a lot of essentially ignorant people say, you know, where's the line and no one's perfect. And, you know, he did a lot of good things too. Yes, he contributed money to the city. Adolf Hitler contributed money to Germany. Where are we going with this conversation? You know, I, bad people can do good things. It's the reality of the world we live in. It's the reality of being human.